In 2020, the NFL world was shaken when Patrick Mahomes managed to get himself a half a billion dollar contract extension from the Kansas City Chiefs. The 10 year deal was by far one of the most insane deals in all of sports, but the Super Bowl champion quarterback had definitely proven his worth. By the time this deal wraps up in 2031, from just his NFL salary, he will have earned well over $600 million. But just how does he spend it? In this video, we're going to be going over how Patrick Mahomes spends his money, his investments, and how how he probably will end up being a billionaire. So we all are pretty aware that he's getting a hefty back from the NFL at about $45 million per year with an additional 2.5 million in bonuses up for grabs. We all understand that this is an insane amount of money, but it isn't like some kind of secret that NFL players get paid well. It's more interesting to see the money moves he's making to actively grow that money off the field. His second biggest income stream is endorsements from which it is reported he's doing an additional $20 million a year. So already, before he's even 30, he's pulling in over $50 million a year alone. Not to mention, the list of brands that actually want to work with him continue to grow at an astounding rate because he has sponsorship deals with the biggest companies in the world like Adidas, Bose, State Farm, and Procter & Gamble. While some of those may seem boring, the boring companies are usually the ones with way too much money to splash around on sponsorship deals. His earnings isn't where things stop though. Making $50 million a year is incredible, but he's also building up an impressive portfolio portfolio of businesses. The first thing that we need to talk about is the fact that he has been involved in venture capital for a few years now. And if you don't know what venture capital is, it is a high risk, high reward investment style of giving companies with high potential their initial startup money. If the project ends up going public or becoming a huge company, the returns can be absolutely insane. He has picked up stakes in two athlete related startups, one being Whoop that raised $100 million to collect data to help athletes perform, and the other being Hyperice, which is valued at nearly $7 hundred million dollars. Beyond just those two, he has been a part of other private investments such as BioSteel, which is a nutrition company, and Buzzer, which is a sports streaming app. These are all investments which could yield incredible returns for years to come. And if he can turn even one of these into a billion dollar brand, he would cross the threshold of being an athlete billionaire. On top of the venture capital, he also owns four Whataburger locations in Kansas City with plans to expend to 30 over the next seven years. And while the exact financials for what these locations could do in revenue is unknown, estimates are that the average franchise does $3.5 million in sales per year. So by the time he has 30 restaurants up, he will be looking at $105 million a year in cash flow. And at a 15% profit margin, he would take home an additional 15.75 million. Combined with that is the real estate he owns as well. His personal home is a $1.9 million home in Kansas City. It's a 10th thousand foot square home with over an acre of land containing six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, a four car garage, and a sweet pool. On top of that, it also has a gym, barbershop, and a basketball court. He recently also purchased an eight acre plot of land in Kansas City with plans to develop it into a mansion with an entire football field, and also owns a mansion in the Dallas, Texas area. Since most people at this net worth level begin buying homes in LLCs, in order to maintain some privacy, his total real estate holdings are almost impossible to know for certain, but he is approaching nearly eight figures in real estate holdings alone. All of these things alone paint a very strong financial future, but we haven't gotten to some of the most lucrative investments either. Patrick Mahomes is a partial owner in the MLB franchise, the Kansas City Royals as well. And while it isn't some massive stake that is going to make him a billionaire currently, sports teams valuations are some of the fastest appreciating assets you can own. He owns a percentage outright of the Kansas City Royals organization, which currently is estimated at a value value of 1.11 billion overall, making Patrick's stake close to $11.1 .1 million in value. When you look at MLB franchise value, however, you can see how this has massive potential to grow. In just 2023, the Royals were worth under half a billion, so that $11.1 .1 million has massive potential to grow. And that also isn't the only major sports team that he has acquired ownership in. He owns a stake in the MLS franchise in Kansas City as well, and his wife, Brittany Mahomes, owns a stake in the NWSL franchise franchise located there too. You might be thinking a stake in an MLB, MLS, and NWSL is where his considerable sports investments ends, but he is also rolling the dice on an up and coming sport as well. In 2022, he invested one to $3 million into a major league picket ball team. That might sound insane. I know, but according to the New York times, it is growing at a rate of 20% every year in terms of popularity. Being on the ground floor of something that could potentially develop into a major sports league could 
mean billions in returns for Mahomes. Even everything we've talked about so far isn't all the ways he manages to bring in some money. We talked about brand deals earlier, and while most of these are an advertising campaign that takes time and work, he has made millions for 30 to 40 seconds of work in the past. For example, in 2022, after winning the Super Bowl, he was paid a little over $5 million for simply looking into the camera and saying he was going to Disney World after his victory. He also has incentives baked into his contract that reward him for playing well. So basically, if he makes it to the AFC Championship, he gets an additional $1.25 million. And another $1.25 million on top of that if he wins the league MVP award. Each year, he manages to stay on the roster, which isn't hard when you're an elite level quarterback. He gets a few million in his signing bonus. Plus, while the entirety of his $500 million contract isn't guaranteed, he was guaranteed over 60 million. Even if he somehow never played another NFL game again, he would still be worth well over $100 million. These bonuses, guarantees, and very short sponsorships are the equivalent of basically instant money. So if you manage to get over $100 million and guarantees, then you're doing pretty well. The main reason it will be nearly impossible for Patrick Mahomes not to become a millionaire eventually really just comes down to his age. At just 27 years old, his investments now will have a nearly 40 years to compound and grow before reaching the average retirement age. At a standard rate of return of just 7%, which is the stock market average, he will be worth $1.2 billion at 65. That's assuming he never makes or invests another dime, which at his current rate of play doesn't seem likely at all. By getting such a bag at a young age and doing the smart thing of investing almost all of it, he has basically guaranteed that he will become a billionaire before his life passes away. The main takeaway from this is that if you spend the beginning of your life grinding, investing all of your money, it can make a huge impact on your life later on. On a much smaller scale, something you can do on your day-to-day -day life if you invest $100,000 with that same standard 7% yield by the time you are 25, you're investing yourself up for $1.5 million at 65. So putting your investment dollars to work as soon as possible allows your money to compound even faster. Overall, Patrick Mahomes is not only making an insane amount of money from contracts, endorsements, and investments, but has really set himself up to become a billionaire by the time he nears retirement. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, this channel focuses on breaking down athletes' financials by taking a look at their contracts and investments. So take a look around the channel, watch another one of our videos. We're trying to get to 10,000 subs by the end of the year. Thank you so much for watching. Athlete Affluence out.